Hello, Colorado. This is Matthew Menzelander for Colorado State Senate, District 17, Airborne Address Number 4. I have my beautiful wife with me today. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us again. Welcome back to the cockpit. It's good to see you. Quick video today on my environmental policy. I talked to earlier about in my one of my earlier posts about evolution, the energy evolution analogous to the space race. So what I mean by that is that right now we have this very binary concept of environmentalism, how we address climate change. I think there's a little bit of give and take here. We certainly can work towards goals in Colorado that make sense in order to abate some of the, the pollutants that cause uh, issues with air quality. We, we can't just demonize ONG and coal, natural gas, and say, hey, we've got to get rid of it, kick it out of the state altogether because it's terrible and evil. That is ignoring the fact that $34 billion worth of revenue and increasing every year comes into Colorado from that and ignores the hundreds of thousands of jobs. And it ignores the fact that we truly need that energy source in order to propel our energy needs today. I'm flying over northeastern Colorado, these windmills. I'll show you some videos of what we're flying over. They're truly beautiful machines. As an engineer, they're truly amazing pieces of engineering. And they are a solution, but they're not the long-term sustainable solution. Windmills require a lot of energy and upkeep after about 10 to 20 years of use. A lot of money has to go into sustainability costs. They take up a lot of land. They also hurt birds because they're so tall and they're spinning around. They damage other birds and animals. That's an environmental issue. Solar panels are kind of a similar thing. It takes a lot of real estate for these types of alternative energy. So what do we need to do? We need to come up with something where we evolve our energy into something more sustainable, more powerful than our traditional petroleum use. It doesn't have all the pollutants that cause concerns for climate change. We can do this. And I've been motivated to do this since I was a kid. I want to do this. I believe in it. We have to start changing our attitude and we have to work together in unity to work together and sit down and look at the existing technologies, some of them which I talked about previously, and we have to look at how to develop those and mature those into the solution for the future, for the state of Colorado, for the country, and even the world. And this ev energy evolution can start right here. We can do it together. We have a lot of intelligent, talented STEM people here in Colorado. We have a lot of motivated environmentalists. We just need to work together to make it happen. So we can talk more about this in the future. That's kind of it in the... In the quickly in summary. So thank you for listening and please donate, please support me. And I truly want to, to help in this particular area because it's something I believed in for since I was a kid. And that's why I went into STEM quite frankly. So thanks for listening and let's talk more about it. Let's do it.